Hey artists, today we're going to draw and paint these three mushrooms. Make sure you have a pencil, an eraser, a sharpie, watercolor paper, watercolor paints, a glass of water, paintbrushes, and a paper towel. It's important to have the correct supplies for the style of painting, especially the watercolor paper and the sharpie. Let's go ahead and get started. So first we're going to go ahead and grab our pencils and we're going to start at the very top of this big mushroom. We're going to start about here on our paper. I'm going to curve down and around. And then we'll do the same on the other side. They don't need to be perfectly the same. Mushrooms aren't going to be perfect, so that's totally fine. So we're going to go ahead like that. And then we're going to go from this point, just a little bit up from that bottom line. Curve around. And then this way. And then again, don't touch that other line, but get pretty close to it. Just like that. You can bring it over a little bit. And same on this side. And then we're going to draw this bottom part of the mushroom. So I curve in and get bigger on the bottom. Again, these don't need to be perfect lines. Mushrooms aren't perfect. So they can go down and around. All right. We're going to go ahead and draw in some polka dots on here. If you want polka dots. If you don't, that's totally fine too. You can make these however you want them. You could even make hearts if you want. Or stars. All right. So I'm going to go ahead with my second mushroom and this mushroom kind of goes over top of this first one to give it a little dimension. So we're just going to go ahead and draw over top of our first mushroom and then we'll go in and erase those lines. So we're just curving our lines like this. It's pretty much the same as the big one, except we can't see the bottom of the mushroom in this one and it's smaller. All right. Since I have that first shape, I'm going to go ahead and erase these inside lines. Just like that. And then I'm going to add some polka dots on this one too. All right. And I'm going to draw the bottom of this mushroom. Again, you can go over top of that first mushroom. You can make it a little squiggly. Doesn't need to be perfect. Erase whatever lines you don't want. Like this. And then we'll do the last mushroom, this teeny tiny one. So again, with the same kind of shape, kind of looks like a bell. Okay, and then the base. And then we'll take our eraser, get those extra lines out, and then draw in the polka dots. Perfect. All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw some grass on the bottom. So that's just kind of some like bumpy lines, zigzaggy. Again, doesn't need to be perfect. Okay. We're going to draw just a couple lines in, on the inside of this mushroom like this. They kind of look like cat whiskers. All right. And then some lines on the bottom parts of the mushroom. Just give it a little bit more texture. So they can kind of be wherever. They don't need to be in particular spots or anything, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my Sharpie and I'm gonna go over all of these lines. You can make some of these outer lines thicker to give it a little more dimension. And then don't forget to put in the inside lines and the detailing. And then we will start painting. Okay, I'm all done with my marker, so I'm going to go ahead with my eraser and erase any pencil marks that I can still see. All right, I'm ready to start painting, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my paper towel and my paintbrush, 
and we're going to start with this top mushroom. Now I did like warm colors on this side. Red and orange and yellow are all warm colors. Um, maybe I will do some cool colors on this side so you can see the difference and you guys can choose whatever colors you want. You could even make a rainbow mushroom, whatever you want to do. So we're going to start with that big mushroom and since I'm going to do cool colors this time, I'm going to go ahead and grab some blue first. And I'm going to start at the top and kind of around the edges. We're going to avoid those polka dots. We want to keep those white for right now. So just a little darker on the outside edges and right in here especially. We're going to fill in a little darker. You can slowly start to pull that blue in or whatever color you're using. Add some water. You want this middle part to be the lightest. So I'm just filling this in. Again, back in here, you want this dark. Be careful not to get on the inside part there. There is a fly that keeps landing on my stuff here today. Okay, I'm just making this a little bit darker on the outside edges. Feel free to move your paper around if it's easier. Sometimes it's hard to get around all those polka dots. Okay, I think I'm done with my, oh, there's one spot that I missed done with my blue now. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the next one. I'm going to start on this medium size one. Again, since I'm doing some cool colors, I'm going to go for maybe purple for this one. Okay, so again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to keep it darker around the edges, avoid those white spots, and just f um, fill in as we go. So I'm starting on the edges. And I'm going to grab some water and just pull that to the center. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to start on my little mushroom. I'm going to grab a smaller paintbrush for this. I just think it might be easier. So for my smallest one, I'm going to use some green. I'm going to use a dark green because I'm going to make the grass a light green. So we're going to start around the edges again. And then drag that into the center. Oh. Good. Okay, since we are done with all of the color on the mushrooms, I'm going to go ahead with some light gray. And just on the polka dots that are near the edges, like right here, we're going to just add a little gray to give it somewhat of a shadow. You don't want too much where it's going to make your whole polka dot gray. Just want a little bit. I'm only doing this on the edge ones right now. 
just fill those in like that. You want to blend a little bit. You can add some water. Okay, now for these two center ones, I'm just going to take a little bit of gray and go around the bottom edge. And then also I got a little bit of blue paint in there, so I'm just going to spread that out a little. Just like that. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the other two mushrooms. So I'm going to add my gray around the edges. And then blend. Then you can do that middle one and try to keep it more on the bottom half. Okay, and then the last one. This one's super tiny. You can see if you get too much paint, you can lift it up with a clean brush and wipe it on your paper towel. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna go back to my bigger brush and I'm gonna start adding in some tan color on the bottoms of these mushrooms and on the inside. So I'm gonna just go ahead and make this inside part wet on both sides. You don't want it too wet, just a little damp. And then go ahead and grab a tan color. And we're gonna fill that in. Fill it in on the other side too. You can see this doesn't quite match my other one. That's because I also added a little bit of gray where there would be some shadows. So I'm gonna go ahead with a little tiny bit of gray. I'm gonna go along this edge and this edge and also along those lines. While it's still wet, it will kind of fade in. And then you can pull this out a little bit. And also along this edge up here. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom half of this. I'm just filling it in with water like I did before. Grabbing that tan color and going over the whole thing. And then going back with some gray right under here where it would be darker, there'd be a shadow there. Go along those lines that you made, just to give it a little bit of a shadow look and a texture. And then also like right under here, where there would be a shadow and along here, because those two little mushrooms would be casting a little bit of a shadow. And then you can just kind of blend it in can add some more tan if you need to. You can pick some up with your paintbrush if you need to. If you're using watercolor similar to mine, some of these light colors kind of cover up your dark lines. So with this one, I went back with my Sharpie a second time when it was dry and added some of those lines back in just a little darker, which I'll do with this one too when I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two bases of these two mushrooms. I'm gonna make both of these wet since they're so little. And then I'm gonna take my brown, go over the whole thing. And then fill in with a little bit of gray right here. 
right here and then along those lines. Okay. All right, the last thing I need to do is the grass. So I'm taking this bright green for my grass. You can use whatever green you would like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of just fill in. It doesn't need to be perfect. You can see at the bottom, it's not like straight across or anything. It's just up and down. Okay, and then I went ahead with a little bit of a darker green while it was still wet. And I just filled in little spots and blended it in. Again, just up and down, polka dots. It kind of blends itself because it's still wet. But you can take your brush then and kind of dab it around like that. All right, I think I'm all finished with my mushrooms. If you enjoyed doing this art project with me, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see when I release new videos. I would love to make art with you again soon. Most importantly, keep creating. See you next time. Bye.